Hello everyone and welcome back to our equipment system series. In this episode we will be working on our stats and displaying our stats on the screen via the inventory. So let's get started on this. The first thing we'll do is create a widget on the screen which will display the player stats. So I'm going to go and create in my wardrobe UI. We're going to add here in the bottom our equipment stats of our player character. So let's just add another border to our screen here. And this one again is going to have a black background like the rest of our UI. So it's all in keeping. And set like that. And then we're going to size it and position it where we want it in the bottom right. Now I do want to go in here and change the anchor here to bottom right as well. And I'm going to offset it the same amount I've offset it the, uh, this one here on the the side here. So I've offset from the bottom by 100 and from the uh, side there I've offset by 100 as well. So we're going to set this as well to do the same thing. So for that to happen you need to change the alignment in X and Y accordingly. So X is going to be 1 now because it's aligning to the right of it and 1 is going to be Y, uh, sorry Y is going to be 1 aligning to the bottom of it. Now we can put in the values that we want. So Position X is going to be minus 100. Now bring us in 100. And then position Y is going to be minus 100. And it will make move it up. And there it is. Now it's exactly the same as this. Okay. And I can also change this as well if I wanted to. Let's make this minus uh, 100 as well. So it's all in keeping. And is the same. So this one I'm actually also going to change its size in the X as well to match the size here. So this size is set to 582, let's change that to 580 and this one will set to, oh it doesn't matter because it's size to content, uh, this one will set to the same sort of size as this so uh, let's have a look at what the content size for that and that was 592 so I'm going to set this to 592 as well and I'm just going to increase the height of it a little bit like so. And that's 296. We might as well make it the same. 296. There we are. Okay, so that is our widget uh, in place. We now need to put in some text in there. So I'm going to drag out a text field and drop it into the border. And on this text field, I'm going to add some padding to it. And I'm going to add a padding of 10 all around our text block. Okay. We then want to make that variable and make this say player stats text. So now we all know we now we know the name reference to that particular text block. And then go into the graph here. And the graph has lots of stuff in it already, but what we're going to do is add another thing to it which will read from the player character and set that information. So at the start we've already got the third person character reference. That's important because that's where the stats we want are. So what I'm going to do is right at the end of this, on this top line here, is we're going to drag out our a uh, text thing we made, uh, which was uh, player stats text, and then we'll do set text. Now the text field is going to come out and do a format text. And in here, we can put in variables as well as non-variables. So for example, I'll put in the first line, which is going to be armor, colon, and then curly bracket, A, curly bracket. And then we'll do shift, enter, and that'll make a new line for me. And on this new line, I'm going to put in the next one, which is going to be uh, damage. Colon, space, curly bracket, B, curly bracket. Shift again, and enter. And this one would be agility. Colon, space, code bracket C, code bracket. Then when you hit enter on its own, it will create the three parameter pins. And what we can do now is drag out as third person character and get armor and plug that into A. Get damage and plug that into B. And then finally, get agility and plug that into C. 
hit compile and save that and there we have our set text now we do want to be able to set up a way to refresh this uh, regularly as well so what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to go back to our player character um, uh, third person character and we're going to create an event dispatcher for when the equipment has changed its stats when the calculate stats has been called so let's go to calculate stats and at the end of this on the for each loop completed we're going to create an event dispatcher to be called and we'll call this one updated stats drag this out and do call and plug that into the completed of your calculate stats function on your third person character so when this is called anything that's listening to it will run those functions so i'm going to go back to my wardrobe ui go back over here and move this all along and i might actually break this off and make this a function so i'm going to collapse up the function let me call this one update stats widget there we go and what I'm going to do here instead now is drag out my third person character and then do a bind event to updated stats. So this is the event that gets run when that function, that event dispatcher is called on the player character. So drag from the event pin and do a custom event and request refresh stats. And then we plug our function that we made update stats widget into that it compile and then save that so let's take a look at this if i go and push play now we should see our widget in the corner saying how much armor we got and how much damage we got and how much agility we got and i can go around and change my armor and it will change all my stats as well accordingly there we go. So the next thing I want to do is I want to add a little tool tip on these which say how much stats they currently have. So then when you are selecting them, you know what one's going to improve your stats, what ones aren't going to improve your stats. So let's go into making that tool tip. So I'm going to create on my widget here, uh, on my uh, wardrobe inventory. And actually no we'll make an actual widget we'll make an actual widget we'll go into our um, user interface widget blueprint and we'll create the item that uh, we call it inventory uh, tooltip okay and on our tooltip we're going to get rid of the canvas panel replace it with a border and the border can be black so it matches the rest of our stuff and on here we're going to have a simple horizontal box first of all and on there we're going to put in an image which will be the image of the item we're about to pick up so it's thumbnail so i'm going to name that one item thumb now and then i want to put in uh, a text field and this text field is going to be all the information and data about our object so i'm going to drag the text into here and put in a horizontal box like so and the text field we're going to make sure we've named it here item stats now you also may want to have the name on there too and other information so if you want to do that what i would recommend doing is with these stats is you wrap this with a vertical box and then say if i put another text field into here this one above it this will be the item name so i put in item name oh. item name text and tick is available for that uh, let me change it to desired so you can see this working okay <clears throat> in fact let's make it custom um so i'm going to change the width here slightly and so so you can see roughly what to expect from it um let's bring it down to 100 
Um, let's do uh, see 150. Okay, there you go. So now it makes it a bit easier to design what you actually want. So with the image, I want to make it square, obviously. So on here, rather than fill it in the vertical, I'm going to do a line in the center. And let's set its size here to 64 by 64. The top one is going to be the title of the or name of the object. So I want that to be bigger than the bottom one. So the bottom one is going to be the item stats. Um, and I'll make sure that's variable. Make sure that's ticked. And we're going to change the font size for this down to, let's say, 16. Okay. And with that vertical box that they are contained in, we're going to tell this thing to fill the available space. And we're going to add some padding to it as well. So I'm going to add padding on the left of, let's say, 10. And I'm going to add padding to the whole thing as well. So we'll go to the horizontal box and change that to 10. Okay, so we've got the item thumbnail, item name, and the item stats. Compile and save that one. Make sure they are all variable, the things that need to be changed, which they are, great. So on the graph of this, I need to set up the tooltip to show the correct information. So on the pre-construct, we're gonna have an item name. So on the variables, we do item, ID name and that's going to refer to our data table that we're storing all these items on so I'll click on here change that to name and from that we're going to drag out and type in data table and get data table row and you're going to choose the equipment data table that gets us this out row here which then I can break that and get access to all that information and with that information i'm now going to drag it and connect it all up to here so item name text we'll do set text and plug that in to there item thumbnail get set brush from texture and plug that into the thumbnail and then the final one is with the stats. And the stats I'm just going to copy from our player stat stuff. So let's go back to our wardrobe UI. Graph. And I'm just going to copy this format text here. Copy. And paste that in. And plug in the armor into A, damage into B, and agility into C. And we drag out our item stats texting. Set text like so and plug that in. Compile and save that. Excellent. Okay. And that looks like it's all done there. That's excellent. That's what we need. Item ID needs to be editable and exposed on spawn and hit compile and save that. Then I'm going to go to my inventory slot. So go to inventory equipment slot. And we're going to go to the graph of this. And oh, we have to do it here and the other one as well. Sorry. So on here, we're going to go to the designer first of all. Sorry. I'm going to go to the button. And if you go down to the behavior section and expand open this show advanced, you'll see tooltip widget appear. And on there, you can click bind. And here, we're going to create a binding. And the binding is going to be simply create widget and the widget is going to be our tooltip the item id name is going to be the row name here and the output is going to go into return value there that's all we have to do for this close that one and then we're going to go to the wardrobe equipment slot and do exactly the same here uh, so uh, go to the button, go to behavior, tooltip widget, create binding. And on here, create widget. Choose our inventory tooltip, plug that in and plug in the row name. Compile and save that. 
Okay, so let's take a look at this and hit play. And if I go over here, we can see the tooltip now appears above the objects as I select them. And they hover over here as well. As I add them, you'll see numbers change as well. Excellent. And that brings us to the end of this episode. In the next episode, which will probably be the last one, we're going to go through and add some final touches to this. One such thing I'm going to add to this is showing the stat difference between items. So if you've got one top selected on, it will show you on the tooltip how much armor is increasing or decreasing if you were to equip it. And that would be a colored uh, text as well. So it'd be either red or green indicating it's going up or down. As well as some other little minor fixes and tweaks there to improve the overall look and appearance of our equipment system. Thanks very much for watching. If you want to watch that next part right now, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Daily, where you can watch all my content before anyone else from just $1 a month. Thank you so much to all my YouTube members and my Patreon members for their continued support. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.